For both the Eastern churches, which is the Russian Orthodox, Greek Orthodox, and, and so forth, and for the Western Church, the Catholic Church, this is probably the most important holy site in Christendom because this is where Jesus was crucified and where he was buried. Looking at this facade right now, we don't get a sense of the topography here, but originally this was outside the city walls of Jerusalem and it the church is built over a depression which was probably used as a cemetery, we know it was used as a cemetery, and a large hill, uh, the outcropping of which can be seen inside of the church, which would have served as the hill of Golgotha, the place of the skull, as it's called in the Bible. The church has a long history. It was established in the fourth century by Queen Helena, the mother of Constantine the Great, who came here and supposedly found a piece of the cross in a cave which is located inside the church and on that basis she established the church there. But there is more behind the story. The Christian tradition goes back and indicates that this was the place, otherwise she would probably not have chosen it. The church uh, has long traditions behind it and it is shared by six different communities. Each one of these communities uh, are working, uh, have different sections of the church allocated to them and uh, they have a constitution which goes back to the 1800s which specifies what areas belong to what church and there's been quite a bit of uh, disagreements between the different communities over the years. One example is, is the ladder that is propped up uh, against the ledge up there. The story goes that that particular ladder was placed there years and years ago, decades ago, over a dispute over who would fix a particular window in that particular area and uh, that dispute was never resolved and so the ladder just has remained there over the years and uh, is still there to this day. Again, six different sects share this church. The largest segment of the church is uh, owned by the Greek Orthodox Church, the central part of the church and also some of the areas around. Uh, and as we will go inside we will be able to see some of the areas that that have been venerated for generations by Christians since the early times. The Crusaders, when they arrived in Jerusalem in the various Crusades, uh, so the story goes, carved the crosses that we find on the walls leading down to the grotto. They wanted to let people know that they finally arrived and for the sake of the cross were fighting for Christendom. <laughs> Oh, my God.